Positron emission tomography, or PET, is different from other gamma camera techniques. In PET, the radionuclides used produce positrons. When an emitted positron collides with an electron in, say, tissue, two gamma rays are produced which travel in exactly opposite directions. These gamma rays have a much higher energy than those normally used in gamma imaging. In order to be able to detect the 511 keV gamma rays, the camera heads on this scanner contain thicker sodium iodide crystals. Dedicated PET scanners have been around for several years, but most hospitals don't have access to one. Recently, dual-headed gamma cameras with PET capability have been produced, and one of these is in use here. Since the two gamma rays produced are emitted in opposite directions, the camera heads must be moved so they are always opposite one another. Another difference is that since we are looking for coincident opposite events, the collimators are not used. This has the added advantage that sensitivity is increased. Scanners like this promise to make PET scanning, which has a wide range of potential uses, far more widely available.